Sheik Muhammad. And our president says, I'm not going to bother with the crowd for him for two more years until after the next election, more compromise, God forgive him. In the meantime, the American taxpayers have to feed the guy three meals a day and all the crummy guys with him who were the masterminds behind 9-11 when 19 Arab Muslims commandeered the planes and pilots and 3,000 people were not only killed, but many more cremated in the fires jumping out of the windows and screaming and the pain was horrendous. So yes, and now this man is not going to be tried for another two years. I want to know why. They've all said if we had to do it again, we'd do it again. I think we know that they're guilty just by their own admission. But it's everywhere right now. We've had 9-11, as I said. We have had the shoe bomber, the underwear bomber. We have had many American-born Muslims who were going to try to bomb all of the subways in New York City just a few weeks ago. The same thing in Washington, D.C. Then just a few weeks ago, we had another American-born Muslim named Alaki who was commandeering everything presently in Yemen, and they sent some jets across loaded with bombs, and they had a clock that would explode over Boston and New York City. Fortunately, they were cut off before it happened. And so we thank God that was averted. And it goes on and on. And this same Alaki says we want to hit Germany, France, England, and the suburbs of Detroit, Michigan, where Rexella and